To locate your budget, first navigate to Budget and Cost Management, and then Budget. In the top left of your screen, choose the Add option to add a new budget item by entering the Phase, Spec section, Category, and Type, as well as the description, the original amount, and your status. Using the transfer icon, you can transfer amounts between budget codes. There's also a grouping option. And in the top right of your screen, you can copy budget items, print reports, or import a budget, or import new spec sections. You can also filter out which columns you want to see on the screen. Now let's review each column within the budget. First, you have your budget code, description, and then status. Only items with a status other than approved are editable. Only items with the approved status are available for other records. Now let's review the budget columns. Starting off with the original budget. When a budget code is created or modified, a budget control transaction records the value in original budget. Budget approved revisions reflect PCO items with a budget allocation of approved. The current budget is the sum of budget approved revisions and their original budget. Budget pending revisions reflect PCO items with a budget allocation of pending. Budget approximate revisions reflect PCO items with a budget allocation of approximate. Projected budget is the sum of the current budget, budget pending revisions, and budget approximate revisions. Now on to the cost columns. Cost original commitments reflect contracts that commit costs in the budget system and purchase orders created in the purchase order form. Cost approved commitment revisions reflect PCO line items with a cost allocation of approved. Non-commitment costs reflect general invoices created without a cost original commitment record. Total committed costs are the sum of original commitments, approved commitment revisions, and non-commitment costs. Uncommitted costs is constantly reduced or increased based on various forms. The initial value is created when a budget code record is created by an automation budget control entry. Cost pending commitment revisions reflect PCO line items with a cost allocation of add to pending or use uncommitted cost pending. Cost approximate commitment revisions reflect PCO line items with a cost allocation of add to approximate commitments or use uncommitted cost approximate. Projected costs are the sum of total committed costs, uncommitted costs, cost pending commitment revisions, and cost approximate commitment revisions. Now let's review the over under columns and the actual columns. Current over under is the sum of the total committed minus current budget. Projected over under is the sum of projected costs minus the projected budget. Actual cost this period reflects the sum of all contract invoices and general invoices for the current cost period. Actual cost to this period reflects the sum of all contract invoices and general invoices from all previous cost periods, including the current cost period. Actual cost to date is the sum of all contract invoices and general invoices based on the system date of your computer. Actual cost to complete is the sum of projected costs minus actual cost to date. Actual percent complete 
reflects the sum of actual costs to date divided by projected costs. And lastly, let's review the forecast columns. Forecast cost is the forecast cost for the forecast period. Forecast start date is the start date of the forecast. Forecast finish date reflects the end date of the forecast. And lastly, the forecast allocation type is the method in which the value remaining is distributed across the applicable months or periods in cost forecasts. There are many factors that may adjust the budget and cost throughout your project. Use the budget module to track all of these changes in one centralized location.